Hey everyone, Miasity here. We're back playing Darkest Dungeon again today, heading back into the Crimson Courtyard with the same group we had yesterday, plus a man at arms that we had rescued. So let's see if we can get past that red gate and actually find it, would be the first part of the goal. Um, we're gonna stock up on the usuals, because that is stuff that would be fairly interesting to have and probably fairly useful. We're going to need more blood than last time, so we're just going to bring a bunch and get to it. So, as per usual, I have no clue where the red gate is going to be. My gut is telling me to go up north, but my brain is telling me to go this way, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm actually going to make him go bloodlust right away. And we're going to find out what we get from this guy, because historically we're getting kind of good stuff. Lately we haven't, but we've seen a few very rare trinkets. Look at that, we're going north, which I wanted to kind of go. Um, I'm not going to waste a shovel on these. As good as treasure we would get from that, I kind of want to save that for getting campsites, if we can find them. So, we're going to duelist advance on the Chevalier, because he's the biggest threat right now, and we want to get our three posts going. That's one down from a crit. We're going to try to judgment stun the courtesan so she can't... That was the wrong move. Um, Retribution, the Chevalier. Now both of them are attacking back. That was the buff I was trying to get rid of. It does give them minus accuracy, but it does give them plus damage, which I didn't want to deal with. We're then going to open Vein, getting rid of her. And he has the Crimson Curse already. Going to slice off the Chevalier, getting him bleeding. To crush him so he takes damage, and that should take him out, meaning we can heal up. Almost stop people off and just deal with the manservant on his turn. So point blank, taking him out, getting back in place. Take what we can and be on our way. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Nothing in here I'm too interested in. So we'll just take what we can for now. Um, I'm fairly concerned about this linking up over here and being a waste of time, but we did get a campsite, which measure. is something I wanted. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. All right, another fight. Sorry, had another phone call. Um. Let's go to Duelist Advance on the Esquire, seeing as how he's kind of the biggest threat with the repulse he can get. Uh, we're gonna Retribution, getting that on the Man at Arms as well. We are going to start de-stressing a little bit. And let's just... He's probably going to take himself out. So, let's stun the manservant. And that's a miss. Right. 
turn two. On top of stress again. I do not like how they heal after they get damaged. It should be before they get damaged. Um, let's crush taking him out or not. Let's heal up a little bit. And yeah, that's point blank getting him back in position. He's going to need to redo that combo again. All right, that took him out. We can do this, getting her stress lower. That's going to be a good thing. Duelist advance again on the manservant. Let's heal up some more. Topping off the bounty, not bounty hunter, the uh, highwayman. Retribution again, getting that back up. Did he just transfer the Blight? That is interesting. Uh, let's crush, getting rid of that. I mean, I guess it makes sense because he's draining the Blighted Blood, but... I never thought of that. Or I don't think I've even seen it. <laughs> And judgment healing her up. The wounds of war can be healed. Point blank getting him back in his spot. And let's find out where we go from here. As victories mount, We're going to change that out for money because money is going to be worth more. And would it stop centering that? All right, let's go up and see where this goes. I have a feeling this is a giant waste of time. All right, we're gonna buff ourselves. Inspiration and improvement. Let's advance a flesh eater. That's the biggest threat right now. And he's being guarded. Lovely. At least we have that going for us. We can try to stun the manservant for next turn. We got a huge chunk out of him. Uh, we're gonna slice off, bleeding the little guy there. And we're gonna point blank to get him back in range. Once again, trying to stun the little guy. Now the Flesh Eater isn't guarded anymore. And... Let's get our accuracy up even more. I was afraid of that. Retribution again, taking him out. One less attack going on us. Uh, we're gonna slice off, getting it bleeding. Or not. AoE heals, patching everyone up. And we're gonna duelist advance so we can get the repulse going again. We're gonna attack back from that really heavy hit. Slice off again. Getting him bleeding, hopefully. Here we heal because we need it. We're going to lay on some damage and open vein. Hoping that takes him out. All right. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Um, just because I want more of these and 
some more of these. We're also going to use some of our food to heal up. And here's the red gate, actually. I was not expecting that. Which begs the question, what's behind it? Absolutely nothing for now. Um, I am a little hesitant to know what's in that room, though, so we are going to act like the it's the boss. It's a goal without hope. So with that in mind... Um, let's weapons practice. Let's tactics. And let's bandit sense. He really likes that stuff. At least I get this one, which gives me six food. Yeah, I have a feeling this is the boss. It is the boss. Blood stuffed body, body, and emaciated body. All right, Viscount has 127 health, very low bleed resistance, debuff resistance, and stun resistance. Interesting. So we're going to Retribution right away. I'm going to point blank to get him back in range. I'm going to try to Dazzling Light and stun him. Because he has three attacks around, that'll get him to two. I'm gonna buff ourselves, getting some extra crit. Okay, he can heal himself quite a bit. Wonder what happens when I get rid of these bodies. Um, since he is in the second row, we're going to try to bleed him. feel like that's a good idea. We're going to try to stun him again so he can't do anything with that turn. I'm going to Duelist Advance just in case he attacks. He can heal himself quite a bit. And cure himself, okay. Um, let's get our accuracy and crit up. I'm fairly tempted to take these bodies out. So let's do that and see what happens. Um, since I don't necessarily need the healing right now. I kind of wanted him attacking us. I did not want him going to the back row. Gonna move him up. Get those attacks back. Now we need to start healing. All right, let's bleed out this corpse. I'm gonna point blank to get him back in range. I'm going to heal. It's for one more round, so we're going to avoid him. Looks like he didn't get moved back, that's good. 
Packbacks are working. Coolest advance. Um, I'm gonna take out the body so we can't heal. But we are going to try to bleed him out. This has another round on it, so we're gonna get our crit up. Yeah, that 50 healing is a lot more than I thought it would be. And as much as I want to stun him, I'm going to heal. Just to see what he does with this last turn. Alright, now I'm going to point blank to get back in position. That probably wasn't the best idea. Um, bleed out the body. Speed, it's receivable mark. Alright, so I'm going to retribution on this. Hoping that it maybe takes away from him getting hit. Heal up, because that's going to save us. Alright. This is getting a little bit rough, but we still got this. We're going to battle ballad so he doesn't get attacked back. got the retribution on him so we're gonna get the crit up even more healing so people don't die and advanced hopefully killing that all right now he's basically god to attack which is good and bad at the same time I don't think he can heal anymore but now I think we also have to get through that retribution of his, repost of his, so there we go. Dissection kit, that'll be good for our melee plague doctor, plus 25% damage and bleed skill chance. So we're going to take that, I'm going to take the blueprints, and we're going to leave the rest. Return to the Hamlet. That went a lot better than I had planned. We also get a Countess Invitation. Delicate script inviting you to dance affixed with the Countess's Royal Seal. We got the Viscount's Spices, plus 5 per crit chance if you have the Crimson Curse. Healing when eating if you have the Crimson Curse. And food consumed if you have the Crimson Curse. Also got the Master's Essences for the Anquintarian, which I'm not too interested in. And 25,000 gold in addition to everything else here. They are going to need some stress relief. Uh, balanced isn't nearly the best. Imposter syndrome and hylomania. The virulent clouds from the courtyard have abated. The airs of the estate feel narrowly agreeable once again. And we did get rid of the Crimson Curse once again on everyone, giving us a little bit of relief from that. However, that being said, I did want to immediately jump back into it, so I'm not sure how long that's exactly going to last. I uh, don't think anyone else really needs relief. And... I think we're just going to go straight back into the courtyard. I don't know what else is available to us. Countess's fan trophy minus bleed resist if has crimson curse, but plus healing received if has crimson curse. That could be good. 
vengeful kill list, move chance, bleed, skill chance, and accuracy with ranged skills. And that is a lot of crit chance, potentially, which could be good enough crest where I could probably get another um, district upgrade and a lot more gold. But that being said, I think I have to go through another courtyard, which would also mean getting more invitations and probably leveling up the infestation level again. Where are half of my people? All right. That being said, we probably need to just hit up some of these bosses in the Wield, the Ruins, the Cove, and the Warrens. And finish them off before we can hit up the Courtyard again and then go to the Darkest Dungeon. So let's do just that, seeing if we can find anything too worthwhile. Once again, nothing I'm too interested in, so we're just going to go try to level up the Warrens with this. Um, yeah. It'll give us some more crests. Possibly an Ancestor's Vintage, which may be useful. Fresh air in the tunnels, which once we get that, we can go and get more experience from the next dungeon in here, which will probably be the boss. And taking what, kind of what we need for the Warrens. It's a lot since we have these pickaxes for the quest. I think that should be good for us. The swine draw power from their horrid markings and crude idols. Tear them down. And this is a fairly straightforward. We can hit Such every room in kind of one straight path. Predate even the earliest settlers. Won't be any backtracking unless I need it from, uh, like getting a side tunnel. So let's blight the thunderer. Kind of still in shock over how easy that last boss was. Something is going to go very wrong here. Then gonna use Papillion to sniper shot the Flesh Eater, taking it out. He can probably just take one of these out on his own. We blight the thunder again it'll go down on its turn from the blight meaning we can focus everything on this flesh eater heal up a little bit and use our bolog to take it out he goes down on his next turn and we're done Uh, gonna leave the Bone Altar alone. Let's leave that alone. Use her for the... him, her for the traps. I'm not exactly sure what the Grave Robber is. Suppose we can try to read these, see how bad my luck is. Didn't say anything, kind of surprised there. Use one of those, get it out of our inventory. Keep on the path. Use immediately that torch we just got. Flow of otherworldly corruption. And let's see how far this little path takes us.
There was another shovel. Good thing I brought extras. Head on back up. If we don't scout, I'm just gonna head right. Just again, take out the Thunderer. Hopefully that doesn't stun us. Alright, good job. We're gonna mark the ghoul. Uh, gonna try to crit it. No, but we did a good chunk of damage. Lighting the Thunderer again. Nope, didn't work. Going to actually heal up again. And let's finish him up. There we go. And pop. Don't think that's going to be enough, but someone else can finish it out on their turn. So, that is what it is. He can continue to heal. And bam. Don't have enough inventory space. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow. Yes, we do. And seeing as how I have more than enough food, actually, let's do this. Don't really need those bandages, I think. I say as I fight this thing. Alright, so let's blight the Slayer, because if I can get one stun down easier, that's going to be good. We're going to Vulnerability Hex the Heaver. Is that really its name? Wow. Um, like I said, we're going to try to get rid of the front row, and then with the back row, I mean, that is what it is. I can still hit it with the Herbalist. Or not. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. And we can mark the champion then. Lighting him again. We have some horrible accuracy today. Now he'll go down. Gently. This is how a life is taken. That's perfect. Yes, not. Let's light him now because we can. That's a little disgusting. Um, actually, we can get rid of his protection, so we're going to do that. One of the many good things about the occultist there. And let's take out the heaver. Now there was one, that's going to be a lot easier to manage. Let's take out more of its protection, if I can. And don't really need to because that crit was good enough. Let's see what I can take here. Um, let's trade out the food because we can use it right away.
Otherwise, I can leave that stuff. I can take this... Take what I can from that, which is nothing, and I, I can pop my head out, see if there's anything instantly. Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Because I would hate it if I missed one of those shrines. Yeah, they can eat. It's not like I'm not going to find more food in here. And I don't need more blood. And now it's just a straight shot through until we find what we need. This is going to be easy. To finish her off just so she doesn't do stress damage to us. We're gonna mark one of the gladiators so we can finish it off. And sniper shot taking it out. Then there was one. Oh, I guess she did get one turn. So that's all she's getting. All right, now in the one that's left. Um, yeah, we might as well heal. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. And take him out. There we go. Heading on over, Let's see if we can find more shrines. Um, let's keep the gems for now because they can be worth a pretty penny. Especially when stacked. Here's another one. Now we have an extra slot. I'm just not seeing these traps. Missteps are the exception, and not the rule. Finding the stuff. Yeah, we can take test. that. Now it must be carried home. That one was most definitely not there. <laughs> In radiance, may we find victory. location right there so we can end the quest if we really want wealth beyond measure awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike yes they can eat up this actually gonna stay so we can camp and get rid of some stress circle in the dark the battle may yet be won no nighttime ambushes yeah let's humor to get rid of some stress uh we have a disease so why not we can encourage and that's that Promise of safety. Gonna pop up to see this. The darkness holds much worse than mere trickery. And there we go. From their writings, the swine will grow ever more ignorant. If such a thing were possible. And twenty thousand gold. We got some heirlooms. The Aaron's ancestors vintage, which I'm not sure is too important because I don't think. I'm too concerned about the curse craving being delayed, with how much blood I have. Darcy did hit level 6, which is amazing. 
despite everything, Papillion got syphilis in there. So that's going to need to be cured. The twisting tunnels no longer Damage in the warrens, which will help with the boss. I am going to need to have to cure syphilis, so... That's going in there. I swear someone else needed treatment or something, but I guess not. And Flush's Heart, Bleed Resistance, Max HP up, and another Wounding Helmet. That's going to be nice to have. Uh, the question is, what do I want to take in there? Quite honestly, this group could do well. So let's do that. Go take out the flush. Um, yeah, I want the bleed skill chance on him. So let's go kill the formless flesh. Hopefully getting some infestation out. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not too sure about that. Because that's a pretty big trinket right there. It does hurt not to get that. I think that's going to take too long, so... Kind of weird not taking the blood, because <laughs> no one has the Crimson Curse right now. The spasmodically squirming, braying, and snorting half-corpses were heaped each upon the other until at last I was rid of them. The Warrens had become a landfill of snout and hoof, gristle and bone. A mountainous, twitching mass of misshapen flesh fusing itself together in the darkness. The thing is more terrible than I can describe. An incoherent jumble of organ, sinew, and bone. Um... You know, it would only be one extra room, or two extra rooms to go, like, down here than up there. So let's go this way so we can get a little more treasure. I think he's going to have the biggest bleed resistance. Of course. So we're going to battle battle it, getting our crit and accuracy up. Coolest advance, taking out the thunder by a little bit of a margin there. Retribution going at the heaver. And taking a good chunk out of him. We're then going to stun one of the gladiators if we can. Uh, we'll see about that. How much damage would this do? This could maybe take out the Heaver, so let's do that. Then gonna Harvest, taking it out, bleeding the Gladiator. Point blank, getting back in position. And let's just heal. And give him a good old bonk on the head. Take our stuff and get going. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. I, I still want to get the Thunderer first, despite how dangerous that Flesh Eater is. We're going to get it bleeding as fast as possible. Get a good retribution going. And try to stun it. The ground quakes. Uh, 
Let's get our crit up, because I'm gonna point blank to get back in position. Do a little more damage. And... Not sure he can do enough, but the crit did, that's for sure. Got a new, another Juke Tapestry. That's going to give us quite a bit of gold. Keep on heading this way. They can eat. Really hoping for a uh, scout after this so I can figure out what this is. Battle Ballad. Retribution. We want those attack backs going. Yeah, some light stun the Swine Tar. List Advance. That's going to take a good chunk out of him. Alright, let's move him back in position. Going to bellow so they can't dodge. Point blank getting him back in position. And healing. That's going to kill him. Take another chunk out of him. Sorry, I hate when sneezes take that long to come out. Um, we're going to bleed the swine tar. Retribution. Coolest advance. Judgment getting the meat hooker. And I was hoping for that to be honest, taking him out. Um, I suppose we're just going to get rid of stress. Point blank, get back in position. Heal and give this piggy a bonk on the head. Oh, we do too. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. All right, this is going to be a little bit of a gamble. Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Alright. It was a 50-50. I'm not too concerned about going in this without buffs from camp. Duelist advance. Let's, uh, hit the really weak part. Battle battle giving us a crit buff. Let's stun this one so it can't heal. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. And retribution getting that attack back. Let's harvest, get them both bleeding. Just gross. <laughs> um, point blank, get them back in position. We need to heal with her, so we're gonna do just that.
Right. And Retribution. Battle Ballad. Duelist Advance. And she can heal herself. Very not great. In a single strike. Right, he's got one round of that. So we're gonna command buff. Point blank, getting him back in position. Gonna harvest, get them bleeding. Divine comfort, healing everyone that needs it. And he's gonna heal for a lot this turn. This could get bad. Duelist advance again. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Don't have anti venoms, so I basically have to hope for him to get through this round into the Vestal's next turn. That's a tall order. They're going to harvest so they get bleeding. I'm going to retribution with him so he gets marked, hopefully, so they go at him. I could hope, you know. Right, point blank, so he gets back in position. This is gonna get kind of rough now, keeping up with the damage. Um. He's got two of that. We're gonna try to bellow to get the dodge down. More dust. Nope, 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 nope. More disappointment. More blood soaks the soil. Desperation is known. Only one escape is impossible. You're you're kidding me. <laughs> oh boy. The one time I've really tried to escape from battle and it tells me no. Oh man, I'm gonna lose all those trinkets too. It's really not going to let me have a choice here. That man is hanging on. Give him a 
freaking metal. The sin is not in being outmatched, but in failing to recognize it. So we are um, going to leave with our heads held high because he survived. And learn from it. I lost quite a bit of trinkets there, but that is fine. We still have the one man. Who is going straight into treatment. His masonry fares no better than the faith of its congregation. And um, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to replace half of that. So now the Crimson Court becomes its own little question about how I am going to beat the boss. That's a question for another time. I know I still have to even get the infestation up, so I still have time to curate another group and do a few other things. So we know he's there if I need to fight him. I still can get two levels on the wield, one on the coven, two on the runes, so there are a few bosses left there, as well as going into the darkest dungeon. I think there's three levels of that, so there's quite a bit to do yet. So we have... A few things we have a chance to regroup and get so that's gonna be all for now while I try to figure out how I'm going to press forward because I know this group hasn't necessarily done the best in the Crimson Court and neither has this one and now I just lost my other group that I probably shouldn't have brought in there however I thought they would have done okay and I guess that wasn't the case so yeah um, <laughs> so I, I have some thinking to do. So as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and have a good one.